South Dakota, a 75-61 win in Summit League play here on Thursday night in Vermilion over Western Illinois. The Coyotes started strong in both halves, Greg. 14-2 runs to start the game and to start the second half and uh, really pulled away down the stretch with some solid play, honestly, at both ends of the floor in that second half. Yeah, and that's what they needed, Jay, after a couple of disappointing home losses, and now they're going to go on the road for a little bit. They needed to to leave with, 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 a, with a good taste in their mouth, and I think they really did that. Played a very complete game, actually. Yeah, and let's take a look at some of the highlights now, starting with the first half, and as we mentioned, the Coyotes came out shooting it well. Brandon Boss got him started. 14-2 run to open the ball game for USD. Yeah, Casper Bauer answered, and but then Western Illinois, Garrett Covington, you know they're not going to go anywhere. They kind of answered that run. Badish with some big threes for them. And, and they, uh, Andy, that actually gave them the lead there. Uh, Covington, a few first half threes for him. They shot it well outside. Casper Bauer, they found it after a little bit of a dry spell in that first half. He had eight first half points. Trey Burnett had 10 in the first half. J.C. Fuller. Last bucket of the half of the final seconds made it 35-34 uh, at the break. And uh, certainly turnovers was part of the story uh, in that first half for USD. They, they turned it over just four times. It's not a huge number, but Western Illinois converted that into eight points. It's one of the reasons they were able to get back into the game. Yeah, very efficient use of, of the turnover by Western Illinois. Like you say, tie game going into, into halftime. What adjustments would the coaches make? Interesting to see how the results would be in the second half. Well, when they came out in the second half, the Coyotes really started strong again. And several several guys played a role, but Trey Burnett's the one that got him started this time. He really was, and, and, and I thought he sparked him in the first half as well. And Really came off, came out with some aggressiveness here. He pulls up and buries the three. And then I thought to kind of finish the game out as Western Illinois didn't have quite the same answer they did in the first half. Badish with another big shot, but I thought it was Tyler Larson and Brandon Boss, guys that found ways to create some separation for USD. Robertson, the big block there, but down the stretch, Tyler Larson scoreless in the first half, Greg. 16 second half points, also had seven assists and six rebounds on the night. Robertson, the, his only bucket of the night. J.C. Fuller had, a, had another strong game against South Dakota with 18 points tonight for the Leathernecks. But Brandon Boss and company just too strong down the stretch, and they pull away for that 75-61 win. They outscore the Leathernecks 40-27 to in the second half. In the two games, these two teams have played the second halves 83 to uh, 52 in favor of the Coyotes. That's how strong they've finished these two games against Western Illinois. As a result, the Coyotes complete their first ever season sweep of Western Illinois. And it was an impressive showing here tonight, especially in that second half for Craig Smith's Coyotes. Yeah, and you know, you mentioned that sweep. Western Illinois has always been a nemesis for USD. Mm -hmm. They've beat them in some tight games, but yeah, that's what they needed. And, and credit, I thought they played with a lot of maturity and a lot of composure in the second half, not only protecting that lead, but building on it. Yeah, and the Coyotes, uh, as you said, Heading on the road again, and they've lived a lot of their life this season on the road. Uh, but they do have six road victories. They lead the Summit League in that department. They're at North Dakota State on Saturday. Uh, they picked up their first win over the Bison here in this building just a few weeks back. It was their first in, in a long time, since 2004. In fact, Craig Smith was an assistant at North Dakota State the last time the Coyotes had beaten them. But they've struggled in Fargo. What's going to make the difference for that team in that building this time around, although it is a different building at the Shields Ice Arena. Well, it's going to take, number one, playing with confidence and having your 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 leaders step up, and, and you're going to need Tyler Larson. You're going to need Brandon Boss. You're going to need somebody else to find a way to step up as well. Casper Rauer is always capable. But they're going up to play a team in North Dakota State that sits in first place mm -hmm. right now in the Summit League, defend, you know, working to defend their conference championship. So it's one of those things I think Craig Smith can also throw at them. Hey, we got nothing to lose. Let's go up and let's get after them. Let's play relaxed. Let's put the pressure on them. Well, they picked up a little bit of momentum heading into that game tonight with a 75-61 win over Western Illinois. Coyotes improved to 11-13 overall and 5-5 five five in the Summit League. For Greg Steeman and our Midco SN crew, I'm Jay Elson. Thanks for watching.